card. Five. Let's see. Twitch game. Pokemon. Snap. Pokemon Snap. Alrighty, I'm now live. Go ahead and speak real quick. Yep, I hear you. Let's see. Alrighty. Make sure that everything was tweeted out properly. Tweeted out properly. Tweeted out properly. <laughs> 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 okay. Sorry, I was getting an echo in my uh my thing here. Do, do, do. Go to Twitter. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I've been in a really good mood today. Because I think I did really good with my foundation makeup today. Nice. And I've been spending the rest of the day playing with uh, my wigs. Nice. What wigs do you have? Is it the your cosplay ones or is it? Uh, like so, I have my regular. Uh, yeah. um, I'm not using webcam, by the way. So. Alrighty. Let's do. That's my normal one, right? Okay. That's my everyday one. That's if I manage to get any enough hair back. You look. You look gray. That's that's sort of the thinner side of the board. Do I? With that, hey, with that wig, a little bit. Well, I don't really have that. Yeah. I never thought I'd get to use it properly again, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. That's good. Um, as it is now. There it is. Nice. Yeah. Which I think is ruined from gel, but I don't know. I am hoping that when I inevitably start um, HRT, I might get enough hair back to actually not need one. Let's hope so. Get some people get some back. Some people, uh, very few people, get none back. Some people get like a full head of hair back from like being basically purple. Let's see what happens. If not, I'll just have to deal with the wigs. It is what it is. I have not heard back from um, the therapy office yet. Yeah. Uh, contact a few of them just to be sure that you ha that. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna start looking at some other ones. Uh, I, it's been over a week. And I So I've been in a good mood all day, anyway. That's good. Yep. It's been a fun day. Other than that, I've been trying to get the emulator up and working. I finally did it. Um, and 
it ended up not running very well. So, yeah. It happens. Oh, da, da, da. great output projector. It's Oak, the Pokemon professor. Yeah, let's uh, take this. Change window. Let's give you this one. Go live. There you go. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm playing this because uh, recently there was an announcement. Of, of a, uh, awesome, frankly. yeah, of a new anime about uh, two girls in an aquarium. Uh, so because of that, we decided to play Pokemon. Also heard that there's going to be another Snap game, which is kind of cool. Which, it's, it's kind of amazing it's taken this long. Well, apparently the creator said that he didn't want to make a new one until he had something to like innovate upon. He didn't want to just basically make the same game, but with different Pokemon. Back when uh, the Wii U first was like announced, and you and I were talking, it was like it, this would be perfect for a Pokemon Snap game, um, and that sort of like became true because they made that Fatal Frame game on Wii U, and it's like its camera implementation using the Wii U pad was actually pretty brilliant. Yeah. Yes. But you know, it is what it is. So I did ask you. Uh, let's see. So. Oops. Press C to aim, press A to shoot. C to aim, A to shoot. C to aim, A to shoot. So what do you press to aim? Uh, R. Right, 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 right. And, and shooting is Z, right? Uh, yes. I do. Does Pikachu live in tropical? Uh, I would assume Pikachu probably lives somewhere that's not close to water. Considering he can kill people with with that. There we go, Butterfree. I do not have anything to throw yet, so I kind of just have to catch stuff as I go. You can do it. Hey, it's Meow. What do you think will be the innovation from the new game? I'm guessing. Being made by somebody else. Um, I would guess that. So people really want the next game to uh, be like free roam. Mm -hmm. I am not a fan of that idea, to be honest. I think the on rail kind of gives you like something to. Like, doesn't, like, hinder your ability to, like, take good photos because it, give, it gives you the limitation and you have to, like, be looking around and you have to, like, time it right because something could just disappear. I think it makes it easier for them to sequence events. Yeah. To, to do and so then there's actually kind of, like, uh, specific possible shots. I do think you could do that with Free Roam and I would like to see Free Roam of some kind. I, th I think they should. It's a bad game design to make an on rail I think they should do limited free roam. I think like it's. I think they should do free roam almost like uh, almost like Killer Seven, mm -hmm. where like you're kind of on a track, but the track can go different ways, and you can go backwards and forwards on it. I think that would work. Yeah. Like a, like a research center or a sanctuary. Yeah. Um, and then you're like going out uh, into the specific zones um, on the track. My big thing is I'm hoping that it's it's meaty enough because we already know it's a it's a first party Nintendo game, so it's going to be sixty bucks. Yeah. Uh, from now until the end of time. Yep. So my hope is that it's meaty. Is that there's a lot to it because this game was really short. Uh, what picture should I do? I have five pictures of Pidgey. I think this one probably the best one. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good profile. Yeah. 
Okay, Pikachu we have. Should I do... Yeah. Let's see. By the way, this is my original copy of Pokemon Snap from when it was released. Really? Yes, and I had a save game on it from back then. I have a save game on it from back then, and I deleted it. Well, because I wanted to be able to play. Okay, so we have more centered here, and he likes centered photos, but I think this one's a little closer. N64 used memory cards, right? It did, but not all games. Like I have a memory card in, but it didn't. Re it didn't read it. So uh, I was just wondering because I remember like the original Pokemon cartridges. Um, they had uh, a battery. Yeah. That allowed the save game, and I. Did, did, did N64 cartridges look like this? Like, is there a limited amount of time? No, I think the the clock was, if there was a clock, which I don't believe there was, I think it was inside the system, and it would read okay. system memory. So it must have been built into the actual RAM. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we have... Yeah, I'm not gonna, rather, I guess. Let's see, that's not a good picture. Slightly better picture... See. Oh, that's a good picture. I what the algorithm was that they built to actually like match these pictures. I'm sure size had a big thing to do with it. Yeah, I think it's how maybe... how centered it is, how many are in the photo, and like if it's facing you or not, and if it's in a yeah, certain like position. Profile angle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. I got knocked out, meow. I'm gonna do that one. Really cool to find out. There's probably a, a really interesting story behind so much of the development of this game. See, okay, so do do I'm having a bit of trouble. Should I do this one where he's running by Pikachu, or this one where he's kind of in the background? Mm, I'd go with the Pikachu. the Pikachu one. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, Oak. What do you got to say about my photos? This is Pidgey. How size? So, so, fuck you. How's pose? Okay. He likes the pose. Technique? Right in the middle of the frame. So he likes it when it's in the middle of the frame. Wow. And he likes it when there's other Pokemon there. Wonderful. Wonderful. But it has, I think it has to be the same Pokemon. The duo. Size? Okay. It looks like he likes it when it's a bit bigger. Pikachu, this one should get. This one should, he does. this one should be a pretty good score. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Okay, Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. It isn't, but I'll say it is. Wonderful. Alright, Butterfree. Pose. Oh, come on. It's in the middle of the frame. Eevee. He doesn't like the sizes. I think he wants me to like get it really close to one of them. Know the frame, double score. I think that was a really good shot. Yeah. Caught it in the middle of an action as well. But his eyes were closed, and as you know, that is the biggest sin in photography. That is that is a damnable offense in terms of photography. Punishable by death, actually. Yep. Well, unless they're a cute fox, and Eevee's close to a cute fox, so I, I guess yeah. that, 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 that sort of negates. Yeah. This Lapras is going to get an awful score. <laughs> I think so, yeah. That's like a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I, I found it. <laughs> it's real. Relax pose. Okay, sure. Oh, okay. And he's in the middle of the frame. Double points. Actually, that was a higher scoring one than I got. Okay, Meowth. Uh, not good size. Seems to have... if... I just love how the photo itself, like, in this screen is like, like, eight pixels. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Is this good? And I'm like, I can't tell, man. I don't even know what it's Hey, man. To I'll have you know I could take this to a blockbuster and get it printed. That could that could be some cheese on the lines. 
Okay, I should, yeah, I got a good score on this. So I wonder if that'll get me some stuff. I saved those, the Pokemon report, help you out once you have more Pokemon. Arrange this, okay, cool. I have a report, thanks. What's my best shot? Let's find out. It's this picture of a Pidgey. <laughs> it's the one it requires you to take. Yes. <laughs> Aw, it's sweet. Okay, go to course. Yay, I can go to the next course. Yeah. Tunnel. I don't know why, but all this art and this design yes. style really makes me want to play Mega Man Legends again. <laughs> it is kind of Mega Man Legends. <laughs> I love that terrible game. All right, hey Pikachu, I'm gonna take another picture of you. Click. Ah, oh, fuck off. Ah, damn it. Ooh, isn't there something you can do that makes Electrode explode? Or yes, you. Can you, do it automatically? you th oh well, he does it automatically for one. But I don't think. I think you have to get him while he's exploding. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, back down, come back down, come back down. Kakuna. Kakuna. There was another one off in the distance. A yeah. There it is. Get it. Get it. Get it. Got it. Get it. I got like buzz as well. The crime scene. There we go. Who done it though? Who done did it? Yeah, these ones don't explode, but I think if you threw a pester ball at it, it would. Fuck off. That's right, you had the pester ball. Oh, fuck. Zubat. I missed the Zubat. Oh, man. Is that the spaceship? Hey. Mysterious ship that crashed. Hey, it's Pikachu again. Man, you're fast, little buddy. And, a, and an egg. A mysterious egg. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's moving. Get out of here. It's the alien. Is that a gas leak? I believe so. Oh, I never noticed that there's a clue for the egg on the wall. Oh, yeah, I can peek you, peek you to, sh to shock it. Yep. There you go. So, if, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, like, the ghost Pokemon in this, they don't actually show up until you develop the photo, yeah. right? Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. <gasps> Diglett! Diglett dig! And there's... Oh, uh, Electabuzz is doing better again. Unless that's just some weird, different Electabuzz. There's like several oh, over here. Oh, saw Diglett's little body? He was just a little sausage. Didn't you see it? The model popped up out of the ground. And oh, nice. And it didn't have legs or anything. It was just like rounded at the bottom. It's like a little sausage. A little sausage boy. We all know that he's actually the inside of the Earth. The what? A Diglett is the inside of the Earth. All Diglets oh, are connected. Original? All Diglets are connected, and they are all part of the Earth. And actually, oh. below below the crust is just Diglett. <laughs> They're like a fungi network. I hate these motherfuckers. Magnite! Can't take a picture of them. Because when you do that... Up your camera. Yeah. Throw a pester ball at one. I don't have a pester ball. Well, then get one. And then throw it at it. And then I could throw a uh, thing at the Voltorb over there to get it to explode to go to the next area. But I, th do that. I think I got enough points to get at least either an apple or a pester ball. And this sure is a fun date you've brought me on where we can't take pictures of Pokemon. I'm trying my best, okay? I've heard that before. Okay. That's not a better Pikachu. Mm. Oh, look at this nice picture of Kakuna. That's, per that's so clearly what it is, too. It's the only picture I got somehow. That's perfect. That, that, that's, that, it's, it's all you need. I'm going to give it to him. Think of all the research that could be done. <laughs> I love that it's just like a crime scene photo. <laughs> you need to print that one out, but do it in black and white on high contrast. So it looks like a noir photo. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got a better... Ooh, which one? This one? Or... or uh... Long tear. Let's see. This one... Or this one. Um, I think that one's better. Just because you get the additional Pokemon in it. Yeah. And of course, Mr. Diglett. Mr. Dig! Uh, 
Uh, I don't think any of these Pikachus are better than the one I have. Nope. Okay. These Pikachus suck. Yes. Tunnel course. Kakuna. How's the size? <laughs> That's all the points I, I got. <laughs> <laughs> you were close. Now maybe next time you should get the Pokemon in the shot. <laughs> Size. You're learning. It's, oh it's dear. So so. It's the entire picture. <laughs> yep. Wonderful. The work is impeccable. How's the size? <laughs> it's great. It almost exploded on me, Professor. In fact, I think we should talk about insurance and the coverage. And also, possibly getting some armor for the vehicle. Just a thought. I mean, it's not required, though. I have a, I have glass in front of me. Mm. Wonderful. Yeah, if you want glass exploding into your face. I mean, who doesn't? Why don't we get some Pyrex? Hmm? <laughs> Maybe that'll be better. I have no idea if that's even bomb resistant. I just know it's shadow what? resistant. All right, how many more points? That was 27,000. Give me something to throw Ooh. at Pokemon. Welcome back. You can buy one Pesta Ball for 28,000 points. What? Apple! What kind of economy are you running here? I got an apple. Yay! Throw, some, throw something at an electrode that's not moving. Get yes. really close before you do it. Ah, kids. <laughs> welcome back. I do, I do like his welcome back. Okay, so now I can just throw apples at things. You. Uh, you did a great job with that. Good job. You. 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 Aha. Uh, that one looked like... That made it look like a poop an apple. Oh, 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 shit. Ah, you got him! Ah, oh, come on, photograph him. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get one of the ones over here. That's... Throw apples at everybody this round. Yeah. This just, this Hold on, I need to get purely a harassment round. Okay, you. Apple. Ah! Oh shoot! <gasps> that was a great shot. Got me. Didn't get me. Oh crap! I missed the Zubat again. <laughs> okay, Pikachu. I want you to go. Pikachu. 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 Now shock the egg. Do shock. it. No. No. Ah oh, crap! I'd probably need a Pestival to do it, don't I? Yeah. You need to harass him. Or her. No reason to assume. No, it's a him, because uh, uh, female Pikachus have a, uh, a oh, heart-shaped tail. Oh, true. That is retroactively canon, even to this game. Yep. Okay. Like the buzz. Like the buzz. Food! I need you. We're all very upset about what happened to your friend, but you can't riot about it. What's that going to accomplish? Okay. Systemic change? No one wants that. Nice. Turned on one. Ooh. I need to get the secret picture. Come on. Come on. Shock. Yay. That should have been both of them. Did you not get it? It looks like you got it. Yeah. Because this, this light should have turned on. Oh, well, it didn't, so I'm guessing you failed. <sighs> like always. How about you guys? Oh, wait, I think I can get them to... Oh, got him! You, come on, go over there, go over there. And you? See, they could do it non-on-rail since your vehicle isn't, like, on a track. Yeah. It's 
it's just like that. That would be pretty cool. Oh, oh, maybe they could do it where you, the levels are on rails yeah. until you unlock like a certain amount of points. Or you learn a certain amount about the Pokemon, and then you I... actually have the ability to open up sec uh, secret areas by doing free roam. That's that cool. what I was thinking was basically like that, which was like, once you like complete the level or like get the certain objective in a level, you can like free roam it afterwards. Mm -hmm. <sighs> then you can get out of the vehicle and, and then it just turns into Snake Eater. <laughs> I mean, as most <laughs> things should. <laughs> had snake eater on the brain today. Let's see, electrode. I got a better size, better pose, better technique. Well done. Kuna. Let's see, how's the pose? Very nice. <laughs> Are the... you going to use the new picture? Are you sure? Uh, I got that other one. Wow. Well done. 3,440 points versus 140 points. I wonder which one yeah, I should yeah, keep. That's, that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a not insignificant improvement. It's not very good. Oh, fuck you. Welcome back. You found a split path. Mm, good for you. Go down there and see if I can find any gold. We're pretty much halfway through the game already. I know. This game is insanely short. <laughs> We've been streaming for under half an hour. Wow. It's really Secret. sad. Secret picture. Secret picture. Okay. Secret picture. Uh, one thing I want them to do in the next one. Uh, here, eat this. So how many Pokemon do you think will be in the new Snap? Uh, at least 200, I hope. They've yeah. got, they've got all the models that they need at this point, essentially. Yeah. They really had to focus on making new models because they had to, like, you know, part of the reason for this was not only just placing them, but also making them. Yeah. And since, you know, Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have kind of proven we're fine with reusing models, <laughs> um, because of that whole controversy, they, they're good in that area. So the question is how many is there going to be? I do think over 200 is good. Have they, did they like release official numbers? Uh, no, they've released nothing about it so far. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we'll be looking. I wonder if we'll be seeing all the original 150. I don't think so because there's already been sh they've already been showing like a lot of the new Pokemon. Yeah, it depends on how many levels because I want there at least to be at least like 30 per level at minimum. There's got to be a ton of levels too. Hey, Charmander, come over Ooh. here. Oh, Charmander. No, Char don't. Oh, he's calling his friends. Oh, okay. Like that looked like he was doing something very wrong with that apple. Something a Charmander shouldn't do. Is he calling more friends? Until it's at least a Charmeleon, and it's grown up enough to be exploring itself. Come on, boys. Come on! Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. They're little lizards. Anyways, there's this thing in front of me. Can you, boyos? Can you, can you help us out here? According to someone in my chat, they did say over 200 in one of the press releases. Okay, cool. It'll be a decent amount more, because there was only like, what, like 46 or something in this one? Yeah, there's 64. No, oh. 60. Oh, oh! There were 63, okay. not 64. There was 60... No, well, like, wasn't uh, Mew, like, the, the secret one? No, Mew Maybe was counted in those, in those 64. Ah, uh, what the hell? Or 63. It was, going, it, it was going to be 64, but then they removed Ekans. Ah. That's dumb. They shouldn't have done that. Okay, uh, Charmeleon, Charmeleon. 
Come over here. Come over here. Tramiel. I need you to evolve. Tramelian. And oh fuck. Well level ended. Didn't get it. Sad. Alrighty. This is a great picture. I mean it's the very best, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's do that Vulpix looking uh oddly sexy. <laughs> Uh, um, what are you on about? I don't know. It's It's been a long that's, day. Uh, that's some stuff right there. Uh, what is this? This is for Magmar. I mean, whatever makes you happy. Uh, let's do this one. Actually, uh, which one do you think? Um, I like that one more. Uh, second one. We've got kind of Godzilla vibes. Okay, let's get the one with the most Charmanders in it. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so there's this one which has all four of them. Then there's this one that has them roaring. What do you think? Um, uh, ooh, oh, these are, that, that, um, let's do the roaring one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Moltres. Let's do the wide open one. Let's do two Magmars. Oh my goodness, that is... <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Just the position of those Magmars. I was not prepared. So that is that's just a cloud of vapor from the volcano. Oh. Yes, it's supposed okay. to be it's supposed to be the secret picture. That's I mean you'd think the secret picture would be more impressive than oh look a purple cloud. It's supposed, it's supposed to be shaped like a coffin, like a gaply or something to be coming out of it. Yes. Ah, it's supposed to be a coffin. Coffin. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Size six seventy pose. Oh. It's nay. Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. This is getting a pretty good score going. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Volcano the one is. is impeccable. Volcano one is Damn so right. easy to get like a really good score. It's because you get like up close to, like every Pokemon here. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. How was the pose? Pokemon is in the moon frame. Other Charmander. Give you a thousand points. Wonderful. Moltres. 1060, hey. Yeah. Pose. What a wonderful pose. Wonderful. 42-40. Frank, double, and then there's another Magmar. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Ooh, well, okay, so you got 52,000. That's less than you got last time, isn't it? In our last video, uh, our last uh, area? Well, that's additive. Oh, I have 52,000 points total. Oh, oh no, it was 27,000. Yeah, so I basically doubled. So you did much better this time, actually. Yeah. So let's go back to the beach. I need to get the secret photo there. Yeah. I think so I know. We opened up the secret area and we went there. Did we find anything? I need a Pidgey. Oh my god. It looks like he's having a panic attack in the middle of the sky. It's cute. Uh, what, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, just the way the Pidgey was, like, wobbling in the air when you I, first came in. I meant the secret area. Oh, uh, when we had the, uh, elect um, the, um... That was the volcano. That was the volcano stage. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here is the that first... That looks suspicious. What is that? Can you not, uh, go ahead and guess it. 
Um. Oh, oh, that's a that's a uh, like a kingler. Yep. Okay, cool. so can't do anything. Can't do anything with slowpoke yet. I can make him wiggle, but that's fine. <laughs> can you hit a butterfree? I can get close, but I think they passed through. Relax. Did you call it slowpoke? Yes, I did. Snorlax, not slowpoke. <laughs> oh, mouth yeah, like jumped up or something. There's a scyther in here. Yeah, this is the stage of the scyther. Scyther was one of my favorite Pokemon at the time that this came out. Uh, mine was Pinsir. Pinsir was really cool too. I had like I had like a period where like they would fluctuate pretty pretty frequently, which ones is my favorite and which ones weren't. But there was like uh, there was Pinsir, there was Scyther, there was Dragonite for a while. Um, there was uh, Hitmonlee. I always thought Hitmonlee was better than Hitmonchan. I just like his design more. Well, it's, uh, Butterfree, I don't really need any of those. I need... Sorry, now I'm just such a basic bitch because all my favorites are all the cute ones. I mean, cute's fine. Like, I like, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, the tiny little one that evolves into Jinx. Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember its name. <gasps> it's easy. There we go. Chansey! Uh, I like Chansey, too. Uh, Here. Egg is that chancy. King of Scone, come Where here. You're hiding. Come here. <laughs> that just like pound, like stamps after you and just knocks you off the rail. <laughs> How dare you? There's another meow. Okay. And a tornado, wow. Oh, that was Gust, okay. Yeah. Using Gust on the meow. There's a dragon air somewhere in this game, isn't there? There's a what? There's like a dragon air somewhere in this game. I think there? in like one of the second to last levels. Okay. Okay, Oaks Marks. What's this? It's kind of hot. Ah. Okay, let's see. So like some sort of crab king. Okay. To this Chansey, this Kangaskhan. Uh, All the names to get it. How did they settle on Kangaskhan? I'm guessing that's the American name. Yeah, I don't know what the Japanese that's name just, for it is. That's just weird. Okay, let's do this Meowth. Okay, to Professor Oak. I mean, yes. kind of playing right now, but you could look it up. <laughs> look it up! What's the Japanese uh, name for King is Gone? Yeah, let's find out. Let's see. <laughs> King is Gone. Japanese name. Garuda. Sandstorm? Sandstorm. Oh, from Darude? Yeah. <laughs> Garuda. I think that's... Normal type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. While it is not known to evolve into or from any other Pokemon, Kangaskhan can Mega Evolve into Mega Kangaskhan using a Kangaskhanite. Wonderful. Hmm. Which is odd because we clearly see it has a child, and when it's Mega Kangaskhan, its child has grown up and is outside of its pouch. So is that... Are they just Kangaskhan their entire life? What's the deal there? We don't know everything about oh, Pokemon. There are some baby Kangaskhan in the anime all by itself. Welcome back. Well, there's of course the popular rumor about where what the what happens with the baby Kangaskhan. Remind me. Uh, if it loses its mother, it becomes a Cubone. Oh, that's right. And they are very similar looking, so. Okay, I need to get the secret picture here. What's the what's the like the little the, the one that's the little shark on legs? Is that Gibble? Um. Yeah, it's Gibble. I love Gibble. <laughs> Shock it! Shock it! 
got little jet engines on the side of its head. <laughs> Where do we get the pet balls? Uh, I think it is after the next island. Okay. I always thought that when they were doing self-destruct, they were basically like, like dying, like killing themselves. Here, I can actually stop my thing here. I want to get a good picture of... You bitch, blow up. You too. Get him. Yeah, let's blow up these cocoonas. Oh, I'm going to get this guy right here. Okay. What do you think is going to happen? Right up close. And it, oh, perfect. Tell me you got that. I hope so. Okay, Pikachu. Oh, wait, hold on. I have a ghastly over here. forgot about that. We need to get that egg hatched. I guess we're going to need a pester ball for that, though. Yeah, I think he won't uh, shock until he's... Uh... So we've got Ghastly and we've got Haunter in this level. Is there Gengar anywhere? Nope, Gengar is not in this game. <gasps> what the hell? Gengar's like the best one. Oh, crap. Honestly, I'm going to make the... be Haunter for me. I like Gengar. I think, well, Gengar is my favorite, my favorite of the three now. But like when I was young, it, it was Haunter. It was all because of that episode with Sabrina. Ah, uh, yeah. You. You go over there. Come on. Got him. Okay, Pikachu, you go over here. Pikachu. -pi. Can you make a dub trio in this? Uh, I think. I think there's a duck trio. I actually don't know. We made the magneton earlier. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get him to turn this on. I don't remember how to get them to turn this on. I can look it up. If you like? Ah, uh, sure. Go for it. All right. Let's see. This is the volcano. No, this is not the volcano. What is this? This is the cave. Yes. All right. What's that cave? This is the tunnel. The tunnel. I think the cave is a different one. The tunnel is the second level that you will encounter, unlocked by completing the beach level in the game, and holds a variety of Pokemon for you to capture on film. Pikachu, Electro, Electabuzz, Kakuna, Zapdos. Oh, Zapdos! Yes, what do you use uh, the, uh, You'll need the Poke Flute ah. uh, to use my Pikachu and the giant egg. Okay. Zapdos will hatch and start powering up a generator. This makes for a great shot. That <laughs> giant egg. Why does it make me think of Billy Hatcher? I never played that game. I always wanted to. Oh, uh, you know what? That wasn't a that wasn't a ghastly. That was a haunter. Ah, see, only haunter. Oh well, haunter's cool. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, if we take a picture, there's more than one Diglet. I'm guessing there's three, because if we take a picture of each of them, a Doug Trio will appear. Okay. Uh, in the tunnel level. Yeah. Huh. So that um, that light that you're trying to get, yeah. you have to get Zapdos out. Ah, okay. So I need the Poke Flute. Yeah. Okay. Oak. Yes. <sighs> Professor Oak's check. Yeah, it didn't do much better. Like, honestly. of all the research he's, he's doing, he's also like, let me grade the art that I sent you out to shoot. Keep that one. So, like, he's a professor, but he's mostly doing research. But, like, are you his student? Is that the whole the whole thing? I I, I forget the lore. <laughs> Is that like why why he's called professor and why you're doing this? Is this just like for your for your dissertation? I think I'm on Pokemon in their natural habitat. I think he just hired me to research the the Pokemon on this island specifically. 
And he already knows what they all are. It's like, what are you learning? Yes, if you throw apples and other stuff at Pokemon, they'll get pissed off. Wow. It's like, revelation. <laughs> yeah, it, he's... Professor Oak is he's not... He's kind of bad at his job. He's not the most prodigious thinker in the world. I mean, like, part of his whole shtick is that he sends out, like, ten-year-olds to do research for him. It's like, dude, that's... You're 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 kind of a joke in the Pokemon world. Yeah, yeah. Get out is. of academia. Alrighty, here's some of the. This one has Ooh, some of the most interesting like water level. The things that you can do. Like throw apples. <gasps> it's a polywag. I can't really get a good picture of it though. There we go. Man, you are not kidding. Oh, they're cute. What's that thing? It's clearly something. Bulbasaur. Or the Bulbasaur. Aww. I think I gotta pester him out. Yeah. Okay. I have to knock him about. Hey, I know. Ah. Oh, oh, aim right in the mouth. Right in the mouth. Unfortunately, oh you can't. Ah, magic herb! But you can do this. You, I can't believe you can't get it right in the mouth. That's so annoying. Oh, we're gonna make a, a slow bro. Yes, we are. Oh. Yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Come so on. There we go. Um, Perfect. Hey, buddy. You can you actually the, the, the official slow uh, slowpoke song. Yeah, slow. No, it's a uh, slow bro, I think. No, it's for slowpoke. Okay. It's great. <laughs> yeah, the Jamaican one. Yeah, the Rasta one. Arian, the reggae one. Metapod. So we got cocoons. We got metapods. We haven't. We seen Butterfree. There's a Psyduck. 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 One of my favorites. Magikarp again. Another one of my favorites. Cloyster. Oh, Cloyster. Oh, a couple. Oh my god, this that's a little terrifying, actually. Yeah. So we've got Kakuna, we've got Metapod, we've got Butterfree. We haven't seen Beedrill yet, and I, we haven't seen a Weedle or a Caterpie. What's that tiny little... Is that just like a bug? Uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. We just can't. We just can't activate it yet. Okay. How long has it been since you played Pokemon Snap? I didn't have it in '64, so I only like played it a handful of times at my buddy Justin's house. I I, I, I had a PlayStation growing up. I went from an NES to a PlayStation to a GameCube, and then in high school, eventually, I I just moved my dad's ps2 into my room and it became mine <laughs> nice because otherwise i was never going to get to finish playing kingdom hearts you know that's usually how it goes i know how i feel about kingdom hearts <laughs> you like it it is the stupidest most awful game i've ever been completely in love with <laughs> all right slow poke slow bro uh, Metapods. Cafe. Mr. Psy. Yeah, Magikarp. Psyduck's butt. To Professor Oak. Yes. Professor Oak. That should be his voice. See if Hello, child. if they really the if they really wanted to get people to like buy DLC for the next Pokemon Snap, they mm -hmm. should do some like event DLC, which is like, hey, you can go visit these famous areas from Pokemon games. I, I think that's what they're gonna do. Is it's gonna be like, hey, we've added a new area, and it comes with brand new Pokemon exclusive to this area. But I also mean go like. There and 
pester the fuck out of them. I, I specifically mean like uh, putting in uh, like the safari zone. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be like 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 places that we've been before. Yeah. Like you go to like Pallet Town, and you might see like ooh, you might see like Red heading out on his journey. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be cool. Or you could see him like just like him and Gary just like going at it, just like totally to, dueling. I don't think they're gonna put other humans in the game. I mean, who knows? Why not? <laughs> Considering how iconic so many of them are. Uh, because that's not the point of putting in the most iconic people in it. Because it's supposed to be like a nature photography thing. Ooh, maybe they'll do one where you can like see Bill turn into a Pokemon. <laughs> What Pokemon did he turn into? They did that in the series, right? Uh, Kabuto. Or no, okay. uh, the the his pre-evolution. The one that looks like a... Uh, like a little bug thing. Oh, close. That's Kabuto. Uh, you're thinking of Kabutops. Yeah, Kabuto. Yeah, Kabuto. Yeah. Look how Smash Bros. never have humans as the trophy sticker spirits. I mean, S Smash Bros ultimate has a lot of humans as the spirits i'm pretty sure the pokemon humans oh gotcha yeah yeah it's it's the thing of like the the humans aren't the focus of a pokemon game well yeah otherwise it would be boring as hell it's about dog fighting yes exactly Misty's and Snap? Uh, no. There's... Oh, Misty and Snap in there. Yeah. Okay. Todd Snap. Who appeared once in the anime. If I remember correctly, I remember him being annoying as hell. Wonderful. That's true for most Pokemon side characters. Yeah, the the kid from Pokemon Snap does have a melee trophy. Yeah. I think he's the only time they've like acknowledged Snap outside of like this game. Yeah. I mean he's is he's not the same character uh as Todd Snap. I thought they modeled him after it. He is they're the same character pretty much. I mean, I'm guessing it's kind of like how Red and Ash are not technically the same person. Yeah. Just interpretations of the same character. Yeah. No, if you want character, if you want one character appearing in several different series and like iterations of one show, you go to Digimon, <laughs> where you have. Where are we getting Digimon Snap? If I could, I would make Digimon Snap. <laughs> and now I might do that. Ah, oh, crap. I keep making him repeat because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So we have the pester ball now. So who, nice. do, we, who do we need to pester? We need to... Uh, we need to get the scyther. Yes. It must be like really hard and heavy because we've already been throwing apples at Pokemon and if that doesn't pester you getting hit in the back of the head with an apple, then I just I don't know what it's going to take. Oh, hell. Oh, you're, you're you're like firebombing them. Yep, pretty much. Hey, Pikachu! You're straight back them. <laughs> Hit him with a ball. Take a picture. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I think the Butterfree. I mean, what? They're living creatures. What else are they gonna? They're not gonna do anything about it. They're just magical creatures with horrifying powers. Throw stuff at them. What's the worst that could happen? Hey, Snorlax. Here we go. It's Snorlax. Snorlax, wake, yeah, wake your ass up. Ah, oh, man. There you go. There you go. Yes, that's perfect. Meow. We're not taking pictures of you. We just want to bother you because, man, you're annoying. Yep. Hey, si oh, wait, he's down here now. Okay, that's going to get some points. <laughs> hey, Scyther. Come on. Get out of there. 
saw a bunch of the leaves going up. Maybe that's where they were. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe you need the poker flute. Maybe. <sighs> it's blowing. Actually, I think it's either's up here. Really? Yeah. Good job. Uh, yeah, because you do this. <laughs> wow, you're right. Yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> what? No, no, you're, you're doing good. I'll just, we'll all really support you. <laughs> Everything you're going through. As you bother the shit out of these natural creatures. I mean, it's what I do. It would appear so. Photography is just like a secondary gig. <sighs> One thing I'm going to look forward to in the next game, better controls. This You, you say that. <laughs> this kind of sucks to use with this control stick. Dude, in it, like in general, in 64 games were about learning how to live with the controls. Okay, I think I got one good picture out of all that. Yeah. Alrighty. Da, da, da. One out of 11, that's, oh, I, that's terrible. I got a better Kangaskhan picture. It's like nine, 9%. Fessla Ooks check. Beach course. This is Meowth. Better size. Better pose. How's the technique? Well done. How the fuck would I know? I'm a professor. Maybe he's I a go to photography school. Maybe he's a professor of art, and that's why he's so ineffective. Oh, like Wolverine? Yes. <laughs> They're exactly the same. They're basically twins. Well done. Huh? Nice. Better photo. <laughs> I love how that's good to say that. What are you a professor of? Art. And no one questions you about it. You see, what happened was he's a professor of art. And then he went to go visit a, a lab one day. They heard he was a professor and they hired him on the spot. And he was just too embarrassed to yes. say no. Mm. That sounds like negligible science and something that could probably be litigated against. I mean, yes, but <laughs> also this is a what world... You gonna narc? You gonna narc on him? That this is all true, but also this is a world where dog fighting is okay. That's, that is very true. Not just, not just okay, but basically mandated from the age of, of, of 10 up. Pretty much, yeah. I wanted. I want to see a, a a Pokemon game about all the losers who didn't get into Pokemon training, but who like like stayed behind so they could they could learn how to run the family restaurant. And isn't that every side character in Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's basically it. If you're not a Pokemon trainer, you're in law enforcement, you're in the healthcare industry, or you work a retail job. That's it. There's no, like, claims adjusters. There's no insurance salesmen. There's no infrastructure, it seems, because basically everything's like, oh, we have Pokemon that pump our water and stuff like that. Damn it. All the research is carried about by teens. Have you seen the state of science in Pokemon? Yeah, really. Exactly. I mean, I'm glad that these kids are getting into the STEM fields, but it's like, you'd think there'd be somebody there to show them the ropes instead of them just handing them a little pocketbook and saying, hey, go figure stuff out. That's how science works. That's that's just normal. Okay, I gotta get the Subat. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in America. Damn it. Great job. You did it. You got a, a wing. <laughs> I mean, it's better. It's literally better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Because now we know that Zubats... Okay, you said, I, you said I have to take a pic three pictures of... Diglet? Yes, if you can take pictures of all the Diglets, we'll get a Doug Trio. Okay, and then Pikachu moves over to. Okay. Okay. 
And Let's see what we got. There we go. Yeah. There it is. That's why the weights and heights in the Pokedex are so off and the entries are weird are weird. Yeah, you just have like Pokemon that are just like, this one's scary. This one's a big old dragon. How much does it weigh? I don't know. Like a bus? A mm -hmm. bus. Let's say a bus. Anyway, mom's making dinner, so I gotta go. <laughs> they just see like a creepy one. It's like, this one's kind of scary, so I'm just gonna make up something. Like it, uh, it kidnaps kids. I can fit so much spaghetti inside this slowpoke. And that's apparently a scientific merit of some kind. I mean, what, what are you doing? Do you not? Do you not measure how much something weighs, like how great something is by how much spaghetti you can fit in it? No, not really. Usually I use mac and cheese. I mean, that's cheaper and it requires less prep. Yes, but mac and cheese can have variable sizes. Spaghetti noodles are always the same size. Yeah. I don't have a quick for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire breath. It's 4,000 degrees. <laughs> Uh, and I know that because my research partner and I investigated. Oh, Timmy. This, you are is, missed. this is my best picture yet. May you rest in peace. That <laughs> doesn't even look like anything. It looks like a glitched model. <laughs> That's perfect. These kids going around. Hey, here's a measure. How snuggly do you think this Snorlax is? <laughs> That's about five snuggly. A Snorlax can snore so loud that it can um uh, break the sound barrier. <laughs> it can uh, it can wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I got two hundred and twenty. I should look and see like how low I can get a score on one picture. Oh, definitely. You, we, you need this needs to be a speed run where you exclusively find the worst pictures you can. <laughs> Your goal is to get single digits on every single one, <laughs> just to find out if it's possible. Oh, you know what they're going to introduce in the next game that is going to be awful but also kind of great. What? They are absolutely going to in, uh, introduce uh, Instagram filters. One hundred percent. If I'm not able to turn my Pikachu into a Doug Trio through those filters, I'm fuck that. Give me back my sixty dollars. This is not happening. <laughs> yes. How many levels are there in, in total on this? I think eight. Eight. All right. And we have four unlocked. All right. Well, let's let's knock the shit out of some of these uh, uh, bonitas. There it was. We saw the face. Yep. I think I got a picture of it, but oh, hey. you could uh get a nine tail somehow, but I forget how. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try the different. Um... Oh, here, let me see. Actually, let's find out. Away from the tunnel. I wish this game had a big, had a better modding scene. Because I think, uh, you could... I mean, like, what what would they mod into it? Different Pokemon. <laughs> they have to like make all new models and everything. I think the new one's probably going to be modded like to hell, considering the, most of the models are probably going to be taken from like Sword and Shield. Yeah, but I mean, like, you say like putting in different models is like not a thing you can do when there is literally a version of Mario where you play as a golden version of Rosalina. No, no, you can definitely do it. Oh, well, I mean, and I guess they could take the models from Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Or Pokemon uh, Stadium. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Pokemon Snap Revolcan. I found Rapidash, Vulpix, Charmander, Charmeleon. Let's see, um. Charmeleon, Moltres, Magmar, Magikarp, Growlithe, Arcanine, Charizard, Coughing Gas. There's no mention of a Ninetales. Okay, I must have been mistaken. I do not think we can get that. 
Okay, importantly though, I do need to get this... Uh... If you cause a fight between Magmar and the Charmander, he will evolve into a Charmeleon. Yes, I did, get, a I did get that. Right near the end of the course. Yep. There, there they are. Yeah, scampering around. Which he will now... Uh, oh, damn! Why'd you do that? Did you do this? <gasps> Charizard! There we go. There Game... are three mini volcanoes near the end of the level. Throw a pester ball in them and Arcanine may come out. Get Arcanine, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I was throwing pester balls in there, but I didn't see anything come out, so I gave up. Okay, so... I did not get the face. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. If not, I... Uh, whatever. Who cares? It's photography. Who's gonna pay attention? Ooh, look at that one. I know, right? You're basically being cooked alive in it. Yeah. Professor Oak's like, you know I'm not paying you for this, right? Why are you risking your life? I'm getting exposure. <laughs> I'm getting paid and experience. Y yes, yes, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> He's like, well, you're totally not, though. Oh. You're not even getting hazard pay. Oh, man. Yeah. I got 4 4 20. Uh, nice. Blaze it. I mean, it's perfect for the volcano. Yep. 120 points. Man, you are failing this challenge. Yep. Like, wow. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of disappointed in you. Well done. Yeah, I'm not going to do the challenge for this time. I, I, I don't think we're friends anymore. It was fun while it lasted. You, you were too high of an achiever. Wait, I got only 500 points on this picture? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck, Oak? It's, it's looking right at that's like it's like That's like getting a picture of Godzilla looking in your window, and that's 500 points? That's terrible. You can't even see its feet. How am I supposed to use this? Okay, hey. Polly. Pester him? Pester the polywags? Yes, I am. Uh, can, we, uh, can we get them to evolve into polywirls? No, I do not believe polywirl is in this game. Aw, oh, man. But I can now get the bubble source to come out. Let's do it. Ah! Or you can murder them. And one of them is very interesting. <gasps> there they are. I, oh, I, so I believe it's this one. Onion frog. Come over here, buddy. What you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, nope, it's not him. It's one of the ones up here. Okay, I already got those, so I don't need them. Look what's over here. Um... What is over here? Oh, it's a vile plume. Vile plume, but it doesn't count yet. Let's get a gloom going. Come on. Gloom's the best. Gloom is pretty great. And you can actually see behind there is the other secret picture. Yep. Ooh, ooh, I gotta see if we can get a Gyarados going on here. This is jungle or swamp? Uh, Gyarados is not till later. What Cause... level is this called, though? Uh, this is... River. River. Ooh, nice cool. Pod. Watch out, he's using Harden. So am I. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. <laughs> now he just does this. Say, I, I. Polywag, Bubble Source, Shelder, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Vile Plume, Metapod, Psyduck. Oh, whoa, Porygon? Whoa. There's a Porygon available. Yes, yes, there is. It's right there. Ah! 
And it's also right there. <gasps> it's the secret tunnel. Yep. Okay, so you should hit them with two pester balls. Um, that way they'll lose their camouflage as well. Yes. But I more want to just open the next area. Mr. Pikachu Cubone Tree. Cubone Tree, that is the secret picture. All right, Bulbasaur. Metapod. It's Bulbasaur. Yeah, I can submit this picture, but it's not going to get me many points because it's camouflaged. Yeah. But it's going to count as a new species, so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you just go for, like, new species, you can, like, basically do this game in, like, under an hour. <laughs> Ground-type Porygon. Really, they're a diverse and wonderful. interesting species. It's wearing camouflage. <laughs> I see. There we go. I'm just waiting for him to be like, oh, this one's like 500 points. <laughs> it's too close. You are close. You are close. Wait. Okay, now we got a new area. Welcome, Welcome back. Uh, I believe it's Waterfall? Cave. Yeah. Waterfall Cave. No, just Cave. Oh. That's yes. not nearly as fun. But it does have soldiers on the line. It does have one interesting Pokemon that was changed. Really? Yes. Ooh, Zubat. Patamon? Patamon is not a Pokemon. Well yeah, that's why it would be changed, because I got it wrong. Hey, look at that. Isn't that Bulbasaur weird? No. That's not a Bulbasaur. That's not a Balba. Oh, well, what's that? That's an Ivysaur. <laughs> the ditto. There. That's uh. just some toxic runoff. I mean, pretty much. These are all ditto, by the way. Yeah. It's almost like Bulbasaurs don't live in caves. Ah! And ditto do? I mean, Ditto can technically live anywhere. They live exclusively in the labs where they were created. Really? Then why are they here? Who put them here? <gasps> Jiggle. Jig, Ali Puff, Jiggo Lee. One, one of the best Pokemans. Jigglypuff is pretty good. Jigglypuff's amazing. Too bad. Jigglypuff is a gay icon. There we go. You know what? I'll say it. Jigglypuff is a trans icon. That's right. Weepin' Bell, Weepin' Bell. Let's all go to the Weepin' Bell. <laughs> okay. Is that your new restaurant? Is that the restaurant you're going to run in this Pokemon world? Yes. Weepin' Bell? It's a, it's a, ve <laughs> it's a Pokemon vegan restaurant. We only, <laughs> we only serve, serve plant-based Pokemon. Yes, it is. It's it, you know how there's like cruelty-free meat. This mm -hmm. is the exact opposite. This is cruelty this is cruelty free vegetables. No, no, this is cruelty full vegetables. <laughs> oh God, that's right. Being a vegan in the Pokemon world must be a very different experience. I wonder if anybody's like. Like, like, put any kind of research into what that would entail. I mean, it's the internet, and, and undoubtedly somebody has. This one! It's Jonks! With blackface. It's the, it's the, the one we don't talk about. Yes. For, it's the original. For reasons of sensitivity. But hey, you know what? They're just, they're living their best life. They're trying to be the best Pokemon they can, and that's... That's, <gasps> that's singing. All Jigglypuffs are born with that marker. 
That marker is just part of I was going to say, game. actually, this is, I think, one of the only games that references the anime in that way. Yeah. Which means that we can definitively say that that is the same Jigglypuff from the anime. Yep. Okay, so I need to get... Let's do... Well, let's see. Oh, I can't even see its face. How do you even know it's a ditto and not just some gum? <laughs> That coughing's doing a little something different than coughing. At least I finally got a picture of a fucking Zubat. Yeah. Unlike the picture of, uh, maybe a wing? A wing question mark? <laughs> Look, it's half a jinx. Oh man, that Jigglypuff is so high in that picture. Ah. Yes. To Professor Oak. What's new this time? Damn it. I'm in the middle of my stories. So, so, technique. Right in the middle of the frame. Double points. Yep. Copper! <laughs> He'll never know it was just a pile of gum. I mean, it's kind of hard to not get them right in the middle of the frame. Just gonna be honest. That doesn't really seem like a challenge that's worth more points. Honestly, it's more of a challenge than you might think. <laughs> the, All right. These controls... I mean, you are using an N64 controller, so... That's like, these, these controls are not fantastic. I got ten more points. Yay! From the spec on the, on the radar. Jigglypuff on stage. One, okay, I need one more new species of Pokemon. Nice, nice. Okay, what haven't I gotten yet? I'm gonna be right back. Okay, doke. While you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get Porygon. I have returned. Welcome back. I got a Poliwhirl or a Poliwag. Okay, cool. Oh, well, Poliwag, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, but I actually got it out of its hiding spot, so. 
Oh, there's Good one job. over here. There's one over here too. Yeah. Uh, and then boop. Aha. There we go. Another one. Yeah. Wait. Okay. There we go. There we go. Cool. Now we can just sit easy breezy for the rest of the of the level. Well, technically, I didn't get a new species. Well, no, I got the polywag, so I actually did get a new species. Hey, Pikachu. Go fuck yourself. Hey, you. I've never played that game. Uh, me neither. I don't know anybody who had it. <laughs> there we go. Quick I mean, inevitably, Pikachu. somebody did. It's Quick Attack Pikachu. Quick Attack? Pika P. Alrighty. Let's get this new polywag. Best picture. Probably this one. We need a good picture of Porygon. Do that one. Good, good, good. Polywag, bad size, bad pose, nice jump. <laughs> there are other polywag. Actually, that's a shitty picture, but I got some good points on it. Yeah, this this algorithm is definitely something from the N sixty four days. Yeah, that is that is a garbage photo. <laughs> Oh, am I finally going to get my fucking flute? Welcome back. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, uh, no, it's just the next course. <laughs> One, two, three, Damn three. it. Just, just a new place to explore? I wanted a piece yes. of wood that I could blow into. By the way, we're all we're already pretty much done. Yeah. It's a, It's a pretty simple game. Like, I think I'm on... Hey, Squirtle. <gasps> Squirtle! Uh, oh, you killed it. I lost my monster. Oh, so adorable. Hey, Mankey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no! You go fuck yourself. I think it, I'd heard if you hit the man key, he'll get pissed off and like, yeah. Let's see, which level is this? Canyon. Oh. Ooh, yes, sand troop, sand troop. Valley. Yes. Here we go. Squirtle, Magikarp, Mankey, Goldeen, Geodude, Sand Shrew, Graveler, Sand Slash. Yeah, Sand Slash, I believe. Yardos. Star you, Star me, Dratini, Dragonite, and Mount Dugtrio, which we already got. Yes, we just got that. There's Graveler. There's Graveler up there. I think you need to get both these Geodudes down and then Graveler to fall. Yes. And Sand Slash. There are four Mankey in level. One is by the Mount Dugtrio, the next on a ledge of a cliff left of the river, another on the right of a waterfall, and finally one on top of the hill, which you can knock off by sending a Squirtle his way, and he will land on a switch. Yes. Uh, there's some more Gravelers. Graveler! Uh, there's a waterfall right here, and if I... This is where the Gyarados comes out of, right? Yes. You, you need to... Let, get you, a Magikarp to follow you. Through. You need to get a Magikarp to go into it. Yeah. Um, it might be the one over... I think there are multiple waterfalls. It's Staryu! I'm... Oh, that might be good enough. Flexing around. Oh yeah, the whirlpool. This is where. Uh, uh, hey, that was uh, Dratini or Dragonair. Yes. Yeah, Dratini. There we go. And Dragonite. Yep. Yeah. Let's see, and then whoop. 
Oh, here we go, here we go. Do it. Boom, there we go. Ah. Uh, it said it would land on a switch. Did yes, it? it fell over the other side. What did the switch do? Did it open like a, like a secret? Oh, there okay, you... there we go. You need to hit it twice. So you had to have used two Pokemon for this to win? Yes. Gotcha. That's kind of the secret of Pokemon. If it doesn't work first, you abuse it until it works. Oh. Hey, it's Oak. There are six Pokemon signs hidden on the island. They have some important Pokemon they are. Signs are scenery, which seems to res resemble Pokemon. Mountain that looks like a Doug Trio. It came here to look what? for it. No way. Any deeper I into the island. no idea. Like my suit, it's literally the only other article of clothing I own. It's also my pajamas. Just imagine somebody first explores here and they've never seen a Doug Trio and they're just like, that is an angry mountain. <laughs> How did that happen? So let's get this sand true. Like, that had to be carved. The question is, was it done by, like, an indigenous people? Or was it, like, a, a national thing? Because there's no way that that's, a, that's a, a natural rock formation. Okay, uh, there's actually only seven levels, and I've basically done all of them. Oh, boy. There is a secret level. There's a way to get to... Um, Yes, there is. You. It, you do that by taking a picture of six signs. I see. Wonderful. Which now I should hopefully get the polka flute after this. Wonderful. Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap is already available to pre-order. <laughs> Which I'm not going to do. I no longer pre-order games. I mean, just as like a general rule, it's a foolish thing to do. Yep. And more importantly, this is made by Game Freak and the Pokemon Company, and they, um... They've gotten pretty lazy with the Pokemon games. <laughs> what was the last one you played? The last Pokemon game I played, I played maybe a third of uh, Sword. Okay. That's about it. I think the last one I played was Moon, and I only played like to the first gym in that. Yeah, I I I, I think I got off the first island on that, and then I was like, I'm done. That was a thing. Like that was such an annoying game, especially at the beginning. Because you could not go five feet without them being like, hey, come over here and do this tutorial. And it kept going on like that <laughs> for like three hours. And then at some point I'm like, I, I want to run around this city and explore. And he's like, no, come this way. I got to show you something. And I'm like, this is boring as hell. This is this is the opposite of fun. Who designed this? Anyway, I haven't been very big on Pokemon games the past couple of times. Yeah. Okay, so... He hasn't given me the fucking flute yet. I kind of need it for some things. Let me see. Maybe there's a... Pokemon Snap. So I do like the design in Sun and Moon, though. Like the the actual like characters and Pokemon designs in that, like their design quality is, is 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 nothing to be shy about. Like they've been fine with that, and they like understand the the appeal of the brand and how to market it. The problem is they had a formula that worked with the original games, and they have moved so 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 um, barely away from it. Um, 
it has not evolved to, to the extent that it should evolve for having gone on for as long as it can. Because this game, those games came out when we were 10. Or I yeah. was 10. You were like, 9. Yeah. Um, and it, it's been 22 years, and the games have barely evolved in any way, and they've only really focused on evolving at all the past two iterations. Um, it's just embarrassing. Can you look up how to get Scyther out? Sure. I thought you just threw stuff in here and he'll eventually like pop out, but... Yeah, no, it's just pester ball. Throw pester ball oh, into the grass. Good. See, I'm doing that, but it's not doing like anything. Like the, yeah, the deep field part. Um, Scyther is hidden in the deep grass and will come out if you... Uh, there he is. ...him with a pester ball. I think they meant to say hit him, but they just said him. There he is. Like a, like a damn Power Ranger villain. And here are two Pikachus. Pika P. Oh, crap, I need to get Surfing Pikachu. Sun and Moon is really cute. Like, the design and, and aspects of it are, aren't bad. Like, it, it, they're very well-designed games, and they're very charming. They just they were just very hand-holdy, and it seemed like they weren't really trying to, you know... I, 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 do, I do hear once you get past, like, the really, really long tutorial, it's a lot mm -hmm. better. I mean, I'm going to eventually get back to it, but, like, the designs were really, really cute of it. Um, and just, like, a lot of the ways that they, they, they sort of, like, embellished little aspects of the Pokemon um, were nice. Like the like the surfing Raichu and everything. I lost my mind over that. That was so adorable. Yeah, the, the, the tutorial section was just... It was the first island. It was, like, half of it, at least. And it was so annoying. And, like, I, I wish there was just a way that you could be like, I already understand Pokemon. Can we, can we, can we skip this and I could just run around and catch my Pokemon, please? Yeah. Um, like, the big thing was, uh, like, I've been saying for about uh, uh, for the past year, because I got the game last Christmas, not this most recent Christmas, but Christmas before, um, there was Monster Hunter Stories yeah. for 3DS. That is the game that everybody wanted sword, Pokemon Sword and Shield to be. It's big, open areas, you run around, you take on side quests and things like that. It's a proper RPG, but it's also about collecting monsters. Yeah. It, it gets so much right that Pokemon Sword and Shield got wrong. I'm still playing through the first one. I'm really excited for the second one as well. Because um, I think if you had like that kind of game with the actual strategy that's involved in Pokemon, because um, the, the actual strategy of the fights for Monster Hunter Stories is very simple. Yeah. It's, it's basically rock, paper, scissors with everything. But uh, if you could if you could do that, you'd be golden. That's That's it. Okay, a lot of people want Breath of the Wild Pokemon. I'm all for that, but I don't think you need to go that drastic. Yeah, with it, get something that's interesting. Uh, four ten thousand four hundred points. Nice. That's what I need to get to the flute. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, Let's do that. Trying to think what I can, what I need to take a picture of, because new Pokemon will get me better pictures. So the volcano, because I need to get the fucking thing again. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, da. Bam. Biggity bam. I can't get it in there. There, there we go. Also, there were, there were, there was sort of like little things you could do in Sun and Moon that were like Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Um, but it was it was just sort of like a condensed down one, and I'm kind of surprised they didn't just have like a whole new Pokemon Snap game in it. Yeah, even but... if it had been like the size of this, like it would have been that would have been a substantial addition to the game. Yeah, I'm surprised that that's not what they that's not what they did. Like just make Pokemon Snap inside of another game, right? I mean, it just seemed like the smart idea. And I mean, they're very they're very sectioned off in a lot of the stuff that they do their games um but they don't need to be i mean it's all one under one brand and like you can have detective pikachu references in a mainline pokemon game there's no reason not to i mean there's a mainline pokemon game references in detective pikachu the pikachu that he talks to at the beginning is i think it's implied to be uh red's pikachu 
I need to finish that game too. It's uh, it was cute from how much I've played of it, but it's also like a, it's not very difficult as a detective game. <sighs> okay, I think I, I think I can get extra points if I get as many Charmanders here as I can. You got four and like one. Come on, guys, call your friends. <laughs> they just little, they flail their arms. It's so cute. All your friends. Come on. Oh, you killed one. I do that. Why are you killing them? What is wrong with you? Where's this bloodlust coming from? Trays. Yep, I already got a good picture of him, so. Is Articuno in this game? Yes, all three are in. Okay, I was about to say. Ooh, I hope we get Lugia in the new one. Uh, Lugia, Ho-Oh would be good. Basically, all the legendaries would be good for photography opportunities. Okay, I need to get Arcanine. That's what I need to do. I need to get a better picture of uh, Charizard. Yeah, go for it. I still remember how to play Lugia's. Come on, come on, come on, come on. was going to be the year I actually finally like have time to record stuff. Instead, I recorded one song and made one video. Nice. It's okay. I was dealing with a bunch of other stuff that's coming out and everything. So yep. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Not to mention going through a whole year. Uh, first time being single after a 10-year relationship. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yes, anyway. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. I was there for most of it. Yep. So is that is that the, the did that that coughing face work yet? I think so. Let me choose it. So nice. Oh, oh it looks happy. Wow. Well done. Okay, that's three hundred points. Wow. Fighting Magmar has a. Wow. Okay, give me something for this. Yes, come on. What the fuck? That's already cut her. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Actually, it was 500 last time. My god, what the hell? What do you have to do to get a good picture of this Charizard? I think I have to knock Charmeleon in earlier so, I, so I'm not so close. Wonderful! Your work is impeccable! 10, 100. And you got 119,000 points. Welcome back. Okay, so I need to get the. The part is, you're gonna charge him a dollar for every single one. Okay, so I can't get the river yet. But I can get the cave one. How many do we have? We have two signs. Um, I need to get some new ones in here. So you bad I already have, but I don't have a good picture of. Oh, oh, Grimer. 
Yeah. Grimer, come here. Grimer. Grimer! No! Do you have any pictures of them? I do not. I'm just gonna get a look. One. Yeah, but also need like new pictures. I mean, you I'm, oh, I, I need better pictures because I need points this time. Yeah. Let's see if you can get Ditto's face. Um, let's see. Oh, get a picture of them as Bulbasaur. I, I don't think that counts for much. Okay, if I... Oh, what can get me good points is if I save... Come on! Save Jiggles! Nope. Not happening. I did it last time. You... Did you get a picture? I... Yes. <gasps> you did it. Okay, there was like three that are being chased by like coughing, and if you... Okay, I can get Weeping Bell into the I'm pretty sure I can get Weaving Bell into the water, and he'll and he'll uh, evolve to uh, Victor, Bell? Victor Bell. I think at least. Oh, there's the there's the other. Uh... I wish I could throw these faster. All right. Okay, there's the second one. Ah! Shit. Okay. Uh, back over here. Over. Here, here, no. Where are we? Wait, what's happening? Uh, I'm trying to find something. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to find the sign. Are you carrying a Pikachu? Uh, there's the egg that has a uh, Articuno in it. Okay. Uh, I. That's about to eat that Pikachu. I believe I need the Poke Flute here. Yeah. Is we the just start completely unbothered by you? Yep. Beating the heck out of it. I mean, uh, Mioron says uh, you missed it. Mio ah, shit. Mio. Okay, so now there's two here. Oh, ho, ho. It's Jiggles. Okay. It's the Jiggles. Oh. Hmm. So I need a picture of the... I, I got a picture of the Grimer, I believe. So that should give me a, a few more points. And that Jigglypuff... Should... More points for it. Good job. Okay, there's the Grimer. Uh... That's the best pick of Zubat I have so far. He probably shouldn't do that. That doesn't mean he's not. He probably shouldn't be doing anything that he's doing, because he's wasting research funds by having you take pictures of the same Pokemon over and over again. I mean, I was going to do it anyways. <laughs> well, then he's an idiot for paying you. <laughs> I got a few more points. Yeah. Is that double? Uh, 5,650 now. So you cut it by about half? Yeah. Okay, I'll go to the valley and try and get some of the ones I missed there. I, I need a Geodude. I need the Dratini. I need a Magikarp, too. Oh, 
Goldeen. Damn it. I forgot there's Goldeen in this one. Come on, get him. Get him. Have you gotten Sand Slash? Yes, I've got Sand Slash and I got Graveler. They're actually already down over there, so. Good. It always felt like there was supposed to be another evolution after Sand Slash. I don't know why. Um. I mean, I'm only having two evolutions isn't uncommon, but for some reason that always felt like one that should be part of like a trio. I could see that. Okay, um... This is just a weird thing. It was like those uh, Sherlock Holmes Guy Ritchie movies. Which apparently they're finally working on the third one. Uh, look up Gyarados. Gyarados. This is Valley. Yes. Valley. I know you can get a Gyarados, but I forget how. I know I can get a Gold Dean, too. And you said there's a Starmie in here, right? Uh, yeah. Starmie. If any star you circle you, when you get to the end of the rapids, they will go in the water and jump out of Starmie. Hmm. Grab a photo of them, and they'll start to circle you. So, just take pictures of the uh, star you Ah, okay. That's what I... Ooh, Jutani. Uh, I forgot about Jutani. Knock the magic carp out of the water near the start of the level. It will end up flopping by a waterfall. Hit it with a pester ball and it will fly into a waterfall and evolve into Gyarados. Alright. Got enough photos there. Okay, so... I need to get the start... Oh, there's Goldeen. Fuck. And a Jutani. I do wish I could control the zoom of the camera. Yeah. It's basically on two settings. There's not zoomed in and zoomed in. Okay. I'll have to redo this one because I need to get... I need to get Gyarados and I need to get Starmie. You can do it. Okay, got Geodude. There's my one picture of Goldeen. <laughs> Seven points! Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I'll take it. How's the size? 140. You were close. And that's it. <laughs> I guess there's a tail in it or something. How's the size? Wow. Better. Pose. Oh. About to pop up. Technique. Double. Wow. Okay, I got I got a few more points from that. Geodude. Thousand points, sweet. Technique. Mold frame, double. Teeny. Oh. Come on, that has to have got me pretty close. Okay. I think my next run should finally get me to the fucking flute I fucking need. Yes. Okay, you so can I can do it. So I need to get the magic harp at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So you'll you'll hit them and then they will flop to the um 
to the waterfall, and then you'll need to hit them with a pester ball. Okay. I can see the magic card, so that's... There's the Goldeen. There's Jatini. It's a pester ball, right? Okay. Yes, there he goes. He's flying away. Oh my goodness, look at him! <laughs> like, yeeted right the hell out of there. Okay, now I just need to get a better picture of a Goldeen. Actually, that's a better picture of a Jatini. Yeah. Better pictures of everything. There it is. <sighs> Shit. That didn't count as a goldine. You, you were never gonna get it. I got it. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna speed up now. Okay, go down this slide. Then, okay. Oh, wait. Where the I heard the magic carp fly. There he is. Oh, hit him! Good, 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 good. Yes. There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, are you getting some star use? Get some pictures of star use. I think I got them. There's the whirlpool. Does that count? None. Dang. Bang. Okay. There's a bunch of squirrel there. Yeah, that's that's how you hit the mankey. Okay, I think I got enough that I can finally finish this game. Here's hoping. Here we go. Did we earn enough? to stave off the deadly end of this game. Okay, that. That. Okay, let's get. That. Okay, this should get me the points I need. Oh, yeah? Better size. Good, uh, good. Dog, excellent. Okay. Hey, nice. You're already halfway there. Goldeen. <laughs> Better size. Splashing. It's already double. Hey. Middle of the frame. Well done. All yep. right. There you go. I got it. Uh, it looks like we're, you're basically going to get it. So. Yeah. Pose. Powerful. Middle of the frame. Wonderful. There you go. 3,000. Perfect. Last time. This time. Okie doke. Let's nice. return to the lab. Look at that. I've decided to give you this old school elementary school recorder. Here's your favorite thing from Pokemon. I love the Poke Flute. I did my first episode on it. Okay, go to courses. So It'd I need... It'd be a really easy thing for them to make actual flutes that look like it and monetize it, but I don't know if anybody would buy that and they don't seem to care but i would buy one i know you would just a chuck i mean i have my kenna here which is it's basically the same thing it just needs a little bottle at the end
Oh, it'd be fun if they did like a Punji uh, in the style of it too. I mean, it would sound way different, but you know, it'd be fun to see. All right, so we used the poker flute at the egg. Yes, but we need to get. Look at that ass. We need to get a Pikachu there first, though. Yes. Here, and I'm. Then once we do, then you can get the last. Is, is it the last sign, or how many do you need? Uh, I need like four. Okay, Pikachu, come over here. Play. There we go. It's the Zapdos! The only one! Okay, so what did I need for the sign over here? I need to get the... Uh, you've gotten Zapdos already. So yes. They should light it up, but you may need to follow them. Let me see. This is, uh, this is Tunnel? Oh yeah, I can see. They've already lit up. Okay, so yeah, it's already been done. Yeah, yeah. Providing you have let Zapdos go, you will see a light reflecting off of several beams and bolts. This will create the shadow of Pinsir. Yes, there he is. Get a picture of it. Also, I don't think those actually make up the shadow. I think that's just a... <laughs> We're just hoping that they can fool us. I mean, you get in front of it, and it looks pretty close. Uh, yeah, I am. When you see that thing bouncing in the corner, that means it's playing. Okay, I thought it was indicating that you should try it. <laughs> but shows what I know. Okay, seven pictures. Let's do that one. A finally good picture of Zubat. What? No. <laughs> and then Pinsir. It is the Pinsir. He do the Pinch. Our... Exactly. We've actually managed to squeeze about two hours of content out of this game so far. Wow. Yeah, that's that. that's longer than this game has any worth at all. It's funny how, like, beloved this game has always been for you, considering how much we're dogging the hell out of it. It's... I love this game. This game kinda sucks content-wise. <laughs> it controls... It controls badly. There's not much to do in it. But I love this concept. I mean, it's just surprising that this hasn't been, like, more of a thing. Just photography. In games that are actually properly gamified beyond, oh, you took a picture of a thing. Uh, you, you did it. You completed the compendium. Okay, did this one already. Need this one. Yes. That's the reason I had so much fun with that Fiddle Frame game. That's the reason I want to play the other ones, is because it's an interesting concept. Alright, so. I need to get the vile plume. The vile plume. Vile plume. You think you're gonna get a better Balba? Get a picture of a Balba? Maybe. Let's get him like right up here. There we go. There's two. Perfect. Okay, let's speed up a bit. Let's get around to where vile plume is. There we go. Control the speed. Yes, that's something you... Alright, and get the picture of the Cubone statue. Nice, nice. Okay, now let's just go to the end of the level. Yep. Let's just harass these Pokemans. These Pacramans. Pac-Mans. pac, -mans. pac -man! You got Pac Man Fever. I've never heard that song. You basically heard the only memorable part of it. Yeah, the part where they mentioned the Pac Man. 
Pac-Man Fever. The Pac-Man. It's simple. We, uh, we play the Pac-Man. Okay. So from here, I just need... I think I just need the cave. And then I... Then I've got all the signs. Oh god, that would make a funny... Like... Slanted noir comedy movie. What's that? Pac-Man. But Pac-Man is just like a serial killer. Huh. He's just known as the Pac-Man, and he eats his victims. <laughs> that would be funny as hell. <laughs> and you know who it turns out to be? Mario Pharmacist. Oh. oh. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, did I? Welcome back. Of course, cave. I love how the descriptions on your video are English simulation FPS and shooter. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a shooter. I am shooting. Okay, so here. You still there? Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's going to be a constellation that looks like Mewtwo, and that's should be the last one I need. Yes. The question is where? It's like right, like behind me somewhere. What is like, what's, uh, which level is this? It's cave. I think it's uh, up here somewhere because it's it's like where the water drip stuff is. Yeah. Look, I mean, like look up if you can as well. It's supposed to be a constellation. Well, it's a constellation inside the cave, and it's yeah. also a daytime outside. It'd be in like the dark spots. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the level, with the coughing air chasing the Jigglypuff, look behind you, and when you get to the water pools, you will find a load of shining rocks. Hey, look what I found. They will show as me too. There they are. There we go. And I have one. Uh, wait, let me see if I can get Victory Bell. Damn it. Eh, oh well. If I go over here. You ready to wake these jinx? Yep, playing the puck flute. Articuno. Turn around, Articuno. Yeah, for real. Okay, there we go. Okie doke, and then just need to zip, zap, zoom all the way to the end. Zip, zap, zoom it about. There we go. Do a 360 and end. Perfect. Because after this is the uh, valley, which I already got the duck tree there, so I'm good. Hey, it's me too. <gasps> Wasn't that a card, by the way? Can they use the image for one of the cards? They use the pose, but I don't think the specific image. Because I think, like, the main Mewtwo card... Actually, I think I have it somewhere around here. Uh, but yes, the main Mewtwo pose they, they used, but I, I believe that's just a traceover of it. Gotcha. And the sign. Pick me a sign. Get all the signs. Is that all six? Welcome yep. Back. You finally got all the Pokemon sign pictures. Hmm. After looking at these six pictures, I noticed that the signs are just like the constellations that can be seen on from Pokemon Island. That's the key to this mystery. Now it all makes sense. It's in the sky. Rainbow Cloud floating in the sky is the secret cause. Someone in the clouds must have created the Pokemon signs. I have made a new path to the Rainbow Cloud. This could prove very important to the Pokemon research. Good luck, M-T-L-R-Y. M-T-L. 
R Y. And Why bother? Yes. And the last course. There's only one Packerman. But there's a bunch of stars. You gonna take a picture of me or? Well, if I do it, that's what happens. Oh. I need to get him out of his bubble. Gotcha. Yay! Okay, so now I should be able to. Nope, still in the bubble. I think I need to hit him three times and then he's out of his bubble. Classic. That's how you know it's secretly a Zelda game. That's how you know it's secretly a video game. There you go, bubble's gone. Oh wait, new bubble. Oh, what the hell? Where'd you go? You? Where you? Where'd you go? <laughs> He's gone. I think they zoomed past you, and that's yeah. You gotta hit. There we go. Ah, I got him. God, I got something in my eye. And it's not a mew. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck off, Mew. <laughs> Fuck off. You, you little embryo motherfucker. I don't want to photograph you anyway. Whatever. Stupid. God. There. Fuck you. Okay, there's that bubble gone. I'm guessing there's a third phase. Nope. Yep. There he is. And he's back in his bubble. Well, you got at least one, hey. That's okay. what matters. Okay, so once you get him out of his yellow bubble, he starts chasing it. There we go. Okay. That's a nice picks of him. Yep. Oh, he looked back at me. Up oh, there's the end of the thing. Oh, okay, how'd you get this, like, doorway up in a cloud? I know, right? More importantly, you teleport into the location. Why can't you teleport out? I'm just... I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think the logic of this game is very, very sound. No, but it's also complete, and I don't have to think about it anymore. So, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a doorway in space. Uh, let's do this picture. Were you to twist my arm, I would say I don't think there's ever been a doorway in space. Yes. I mean, there is absolutely a doorway in space. It's called the doors on the International Space Station. Wow. Nah. If that by that logic, then the doors here on Earth are doorways in space. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. What about that? Over there? I got 8,000 points for that. Nice. And that is Pokemon Snap. You did it. That's the whole game. That's it. Yes. 10,000%. Well, no, because I, I'm missing like eight Pokemon. 10,000%. 10,000%, yes. Exactly. See you. Uh, press A to save. There, and there we go. Thanks everyone for joining me on this little thing, and hopefully we'll get to... Uh, let's, let's look at some of these pictures I took while we uh, ruminate on what Pokemon Snap New will be. What do you think it's going to be? So, it's going to be this new island. I'm guessing about... If this was six stages, they have to have at least 20 stages to make up for that. Um, like they they have to make up for how short this game is. Um, do you really think they're going to though? I hope they do. Do you really think the Pokemon Company would have that kind of clarity? Uh, um, I do think this game will be in that game, but as DLC. Uh, 
uh, like you'll be able I'm hoping that it's not literally just this game with updated models. I hope they add stuff to it. Uh, it's looking to be 60 bucks, so... Of course it's going to be 60 bucks. It's a first-party Nintendo game. There's no way in hell it wouldn't be. Voice actors Stan Hart, Shimmy Zappi, Ikue Otani, and others. Mm -hmm. Really? Was there any voice acting in the game? Yes. There were two, there were at least two voices. There was Professor Oaks and there was Pikachu's, which is uh, Ikue Otani. But then, like, all the other Pokemon voices that actually do have voices, they're just listed as other. <laughs> of course they are. Yeah, like, it's $60 and around 200 Pokemon, so they have to have at least, like, uh, probably, like, 15 stages to have a good, like, spread of all of them. Uh, and yeah, this game will be DLC, and I'm hoping that they do some, like, DLC of, like, uh, going to, like, different places from, uh, different Pokemon games. If they really wanted to, they could, like, even put in some of the anime locations, too. But I don't think they'll do that, because they don't like recognizing the anime as anything. Yeah. Anyways, thanks everybody for joining me. Uh, this is probably around one of my longest streams it went well i think yeah i'm not gonna pre-order it um yeah i'm, I'm gonna, probably gonna buy it like early like probably either day one or something but i'm gonna wait and see how it reviews i've got so many games yeah man we need to finish raft which i just uh this kind of like off topic from this but i just got to the next section of raft after where we stopped last time finish it i think we should play killer seven as well yeah killer seven might be a good one thanks th on PC. thank you mio for the for the compliment um killer seven i like but it's such a rough game to play yeah it'll be a challenge to get through but we can do it um we should also play uh what was i looking at before um I want to play Pokemon, but I need to actually buy that first. Oh, Pokemon tournament? Yeah. And of course, I, I I think next week, no promises, but I think next week I'm just going to try to finish out Metal Gear. So we can That's move on. Good idea. So I can just move on to two and three and all the better ones. Yeah. I love Metal Gear Solid One, but that game does not play well anymore. Yeah, well, they've they've all become kind of out of like it's like I was talking about earlier. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3D. I really wish we had like the actual the 3DS version on something else because mechanically it's like the best version of that game. Yeah, with all the new options. I've tried. I'm trying to play through like the HD collection on Vita, but it's just so it's so clearly a PS2 game before they really understood how to do like a game where you have to shoot. Yeah. Um, cause it's not an FPS, but you know what I mean. Uh, MGS3, the subsistence version is pretty good. It doesn't have the, the Peace Walker updates, but it, it, it still, it still runs pretty well. Right on. Anyways, uh, talk to everybody later.